Hello and welcome to the Brainiacs Kitchen Day. Now I'm very excited about today because there is a lot of science involved in cooking. Aha! Uh -huh. And I'm going to teach you how to make some honeycomb. It's really, really exciting. So if you've never made it before, give it a go. You're going to love it. You're going to need just three ingredients. That's right. First of all, we have white sugar. We have golden syrup and bicarbonate of soda. Now that's all you need. And a saucepan, actually. Yes, I stand corrected. First step, we're going to pour the sugar into a saucepan. Get it all in there, followed by the golden syrup. And I will put all the quantities of everything and all my full recipes up on my blog. There'll be a link to it in the description box. Mix the sugar and the golden syrup together before you put it onto the heat. Now, did you know that normal table sugar is actually called sucrose? And this is a disaccharide molecule uh, formed from one molecule of glucose and one molecule of fructose put together. And golden syrup is another form of sugar, but it's an inverted sugar. Right, so get these heating. And now's the time to stop stirring. We're just going to pop the heat on and wait for this oil to melt and bubble up. Now this shouldn't take too long to melt down, I'd say about maybe two to three minutes. Now I'm just keeping a very careful eye on this. I have a thermometer, now I'm going to pop the thermometer in. When you're making anything to do with sugar, you have to be very careful and you need to make sure you get the sugar to the right temperature. If you want to make something like fudge, it would be a lower temperature of, say, perhaps 113 degrees C. Now, for the burnt toffee or the honeycomb that we're making, we want it to be about 150 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I've got a thermometer which I'm popping in here. Where are we now? 115, 119, 122, 125. We're nearly there. Now, another note that I have to tell you, if you have never made honeycomb before and you are young, please get some adult supervision because sugar burns are extremely dangerous, okay? So you do have to be very, very careful. It's one of the most dangerous burns in the kitchen. So, I am a mum and I have to tell you these things. Add the bicarbonate of soda. Give it a good stir with a whisk and watch it explode. Look at that. Furious. Now, you pour this straight onto your greaseproof paper. Once you've poured the honeycomb into your tray, leave this to cool down. And then you can crack it and eat it. Yes. And here is the finished product. As you can hear, it's very hard. So now all we have to do is you just give it a good tap with a knife and break it up, crack it into all sorts of bits. Oh, it's very good. Delish. Check out that. So there we go. Now you can either smother your honeycomb in chocolate and make a crunchy bar, or just eat it as it is. Do what you like. Let me know what you like to do with your honeycomb. If you haven't subscribed, then hit subscribe because I do new recipes every single week coming straight to your inbox and join me again for another Geek Week series special. Thank you. George, you need this honeycomb. George, have some honeycomb. Look at this honeycomb. What is this honeycomb? It's amazing. Try some. A little bit, big bit. You've come to experiment. These are the lovely video jug people, everyone. Yeah. Got oh, it's so good. Rubbish. <gasps> no, it's great. Honey and sticky. It's yeah, like yeah honey and sticky. It's like crunchy bar, right? Mm. Crunchy. A little bit, yeah. Have yeah. you got that Friday feeling now? No, it's Monday. <laughs> but no, still, you know, getting that Friday feeling on. <laughs> no, you obviously haven't. Oh, George. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs>